Hello Year 10 and welcome to yet again another virtual assembly run by myself. Um, hopefully moving forward you obviously did have an actual face-to-face -face assembly this year with Mrs Thurgood. Um, that is something that we're going to be looking into within the, the not so distant future where I can get to actually announce things face-to-face -face with you uh, at least a half a year group so we can roll these assemblies out whilst obviously seeing you um, looking into a screen and seeing myself reflected back as I'm recording this is the most awkwardest thing I think us teachers have had to do, do for a, a long time. So I can't actually wait for that to happen where I can sort of address you all in one place and I can see your faces coming back at me. Um, a couple of things I want to talk about within this assembly today. Um, our theme within the tutorial programme this week was obviously pride. I want to talk a little bit about how we can show a little bit more pride to ourselves. Um, but also, it has been Parents' Evening this week. Hopefully, that has been a positive evening for majority of you and you have all um, gained quite a lot of input there from your teachers, especially within the fact that, you know, you, your grades are a reflection of you doing studying in a lockdown virtual environment and also face to face environment. So, you know, hopefully you've got a little bit of a grasp on where you need to be moving uh, forward within some of your subject areas. Next steps with regards to that then is going to be announced. Um, I'm meeting with Mr Giles, who obviously is your key stage lead. And we're going to be looking at further prep ready for assessments coming up in May. Those assessments are going to be quite formal, um, more exam based kind of um, assessed exams. So we need to look at how we can focus you in regards to getting you ready for those assessments. So there'll be a lot of stuff to do with study skills and preparation coming up to that and how we can sort of guide you to get the most out of your time that you've got left within this year and obviously your time left within the whole of the school. So it's not long, is it? There's less than a year left of obviously um, year 10 and year 11 will absolutely fly by, I can guarantee it. Um, with that said then, the first steps towards that is ensuring that you are fully prepared within the lessons. I've noticed quite a few have come back after the Easter break, um, not really ready to learn. So that means you've not really got your equipment. So that means you've not got your whiteboards. So that means you're not looking after yourselves within the classroom. It's not up to me as the class teacher to give you your equipment. You have to come to lessons fully prepared. So if that means going to student services at lunchtime and buying a couple of pens from there or you know badgering your parents at home i bet there's a drawer in your house somewhere that's got a load of pens just lying around make sure you're fully equipped before you come to school it's not only you know beneficial for yourselves it's also a pain when you're asking a teacher to borrow stuff because within the the covid restrictions we can't actually give you pens so you know we then have to sanitize stuff and it makes it dead awkward it disjoints the lesson any disjointment through the lesson, your learning, your learning is actually then um, at detriment. And you need to be selfish within this. You need to think about yourself because there's only you that's going to come out the end of this to try and get a college place, a uni place, a job. So think of the bigger picture. Now we're setting you up for your life. So make sure that you are here and you're doing everything that you can to get everything from these final few months of your, you know, your education in year 10. So turning up to lessons on time. I have obviously been in and out of forms as much as I can. I've asked form tutors to speak to you all about the fact that, you know, that bell obviously is your last call. You need to be using your watch, using your brains and actually get into lessons before that bell goes off because you shouldn't even be out on the yard when that bell's going off. You should be, that's the start of your lesson. So lunch times and break times, just be a bit quick, smarted on this and think of it as if that bell's gone off, I'm late and don't drag your feet. Don't play this game of, oh, I'm going to want to be asked three or four times by a member of staff to move on. It, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. So think of it as, then that bell is ringing, you are late. Teachers will then give you detentions. 
I sit on a Wednesday and a Friday after school with four or five students who are consistently late. It's the same faces that I see every week. It's not good enough. There's no reasons for it. You're in school, get to lessons. That's a bit of a moan. And I understand that, you know, I don't like to sit and moan at you all the time. It gets quite draining. It gets quite boring. But, you know, it's got to be said, make sure that you are doing the most you can to make you employable and um, accessible for sixth form hopefully here whichever sixth form it is you choose hopefully it's going to be this one but think about the bigger picture when you leave here where do you want to be going um like i said i don't like to moan at you and this week's uh topic within the tutorial program is pride and it is you know how to show a little bit of pride towards yourselves there's a small pocket of people that I have to speak to throughout the weeks and throughout the days. Majority of you as a year group are getting it right day in, day out. Majority of a year group, you are turning up to lessons on time, fully equipped. And that in itself, you know, when you've got individuals that aren't doing that, you should be proud of that. I'm incredibly proud of you as a year group. I know I moan at you. I know I sort of and complain about certain things. You've not got your blazer on, you're taking your time to go into lessons, this, that, and the other. But that doesn't mean that I'm still not proud of where you're at. The years gone by that we've had has been so disjointed. It's been so confusing. Majority of you have come back after this second lockdown and just are cracking on. And I think probably parents' evening will be echoing those words that teachers are also proud of the way that you've tackled things. We need to continue with that. We need to allow that to roll out because it has been really hard. You know, I've said this all the way through the, the second lockdown when I've been doing my virtual assemblies. Nowhere on, on earth would we have thought that we'd have to do virtual teaching. Nowhere on earth would I have ever thought that we'd have to be quarantined within our own houses. You know, it's something totally unfathomable that you would never even imagine would ever have to happen and for it to happen within our lifetime and for us to come through it you need to be really proud of that you need to be proud of the fact that you've dealt with this craziness really really well and it hasn't been easy we've all had moments where it's been incredibly tough and you know our moods have been up and down through it but the fact that we're back here now you know, turning up every day, you need to be proud of that and to show that that is obviously something within yourself to show pride. I was talking to a couple of form tutors on the back of Thursday and they said it's quite alarming actually. We had a conversation and a couple of students said that they don't really feel like they've got anything to be proud of. Well, take that, take that little element and then let that flourish. There is loads that you can be proud of. There's loads that you can really excel within your own self. Just dig a little bit deeper. Look at it as, you know, you are doing really well in certain subjects. You are building friendships. You are developing into young, you know, uh, adults. And that's something to be proud of. So look at all the good things that you're doing within your lives and really, really allow those to grow and focus on those. And I know it's really difficult when all I do is seemingly complain to certain individuals, but even those individuals that I complain to on a, on a daily, hourly, you know, probably every minute of the time that I'm with you, <laughs> I'm proud of you as well. And I don't want you to think that just because I moan at you all the time, I'm not, and I am, because I am incredibly proud it's tough being a teenager. It's really hard. You don't know everything and every day is a learning day and it's just making sure that you do learn from your mistakes. So if you are feeling that, you know, there's some days that I'm honest, on at you all of the time for wearing trainers, for not wearing your blazer, learn from that and move on. So, you know, I will echo it again. I think I've said it quite a lot within this, this uh, assembly. I am proud of you for, for the way that you've tackled everything and the way that you've come back to school. Continue and continue to grow from that. Listen to what your teachers tell you because it's that age-old fact, isn't it? We've been there, we've done it, so we kind of know what we're talking about. So listen to what we say. Be kind to each other 
be kind to the individuals that are stood in front of you and then everything else will sort of fit into place. I usually end my assemblies, don't I, because it's a Friday. I usually end it with make sure that you spend time with loved ones this weekend. Make sure that you offer to help out in the house, even if it's just making a cup of tea or getting the biscuits out. But make sure you don't just now spend all of your time out with your mates. Spend it with your family and just have conversations. Speak to each other. And even little simple things like asking how their day has been will go massively within your favour, I promise. So that's it, really. It was a, a short one that I wanted to touch on because I know you had Mrs Thoroughgood's assembly at the beginning of the week. Have a fantastic weekend. Look after yourselves. Um, pop in and see me, Miss Gordon, you know, during the, the next week to let us know how you're getting on. And I shall catch up with you, no doubt, as I walk around during the day. So take it easy, everyone. Look after yourselves and remember, be proud of yourselves.